Hi, this is Doug. And I'm Cindy. Welcome to Help Me Help Mama 5 Cast. Thanks for joining us today. We answer your caregiver questions on this program, and today we've got a great one about independent living versus assisted living. And I know we've talked about these before, but today we're going to focus on making the decision. And you know, where, where it may come up, uh, you know, maybe one of the family or several of the families has been working to keep mom at home, but now it looks like for whatever reason there needs to be a change. So where would they start? Okay, I would start with an assessment. I, I think that's right, yeah. Just you you got to look and see what kind of care, assistance, or supervision that your loved one's going to need. Because if you're talking about independent living, they don't need any kind of care, assistance, or supervision there. They are independent. They're right. living in an environment that is more, um, you get more socialization. There's probably more convenience. They don't have to clean house. <laughs> they don't have to mow the yard. They don't have to cook. Because in most independent, these things are provided. Can they go to the grocery store? Can they manage their monies? Can they manage their medications? Can they cook the meals? What can they do? What do they need help with? So that would determine what level of care they need or don't need. You know, in independent living, sometimes I see it as a matter of um, convenience, safety, and socialization. You know, independent living is just like it sounds independent, like you were talking, you're, you're pretty well able to do sure. everything. But an example we've used before is a lady we know personally that she lived in a big two-story home. She'd fallen a few times. Her kids worked out of state. They were worried about her. You know, mom's bedroom was upstairs, <laughs> and it was a big old house where she'd raised the family. Great place, but it's big, too big. Had deferred maintenance, had a big yard to take care of. She just couldn't do it. And she was a social person. She liked to be around people. So she moved to an independent living. She loved it. You Lots know, of activities. Uh, immediately got rid of mowing the yard, deferred maintenance, immediately got got rid of the upstairs bedroom. It was a lot safer for her. This particular independent living provided meals. She made new friends. She got to talk to people. She loved it. And for her, it was a perfect fit. So for your mom or your dad, this may be a great fit. It may not be. So the key there is to tour several of them because they're not all the same. Right. Look what is involved in the base rate. What amenities is the food, the house cleaning, laundry? What is included? Is there an, a higher tier where they charge more? Um, and also, if your loved one wants to stay there a little longer, they most independent living will allow you to bring in in-home non-medical care yeah. that can help. You know, if they need just a little bit of assistance doing certain things. And we've seen some people that really like their independent living facility, and they did that. They brought in sure. non-medical caregivers and allow some of them to stay there the rest of their life you know if they like that community and have made friends there and I mean that's their new home so yeah so the next level of care a little bit more care is needed is the assisted living they may need help with medication management or uh, transportation maybe they don't drive anymore a lot of seniors when they have issues with driving you know that's one of the first things that the, the adult kids want to address and if you take away the driving you take away their independence and a lot of their self-determination so being in an assisted living where they still have all the you know amenities and socialization and transportation may be a good option and again there's different levels of price different assisted living facilities offer different things some of them have in our state i know there's even a level one and level two which level two provides just a little more nursing care availability of nurses and so that may or may not be true in your state check on that to see if that's an option and if, if both levels are provided are both levels provided in that particular assisted living facility some some yes some no so how do they find them? Well, they can go to, there's several places. They can go to google.com. Google knows mm -hmm. it all, you Google. know. <laughs> Google knows where everything is, now, right? Google knows where everything is. Um, <laughs> and also on the state, uh, I know our state has a, a registry of the a facilities. Director. So mm -hmm. you can go there. And when you do go, again, tour several Talk to the family members there. Talk to other residents there. They'll even let you go and have a meal with them usually. 
and there's no substitute for that because they are all different they all have different cultures and you want it's very important to find yes. one that's a great fit for your loved one if if it's a great fit and they feel like they fit in there and enjoy it they will enjoy it and they'll enjoy their experience otherwise maybe not so much two things i want to mention right quick there are private assisted living facilities right. in our state and we also have assisted living facilities that are just entirely memory units for people with dementia right yeah so, some of them some of them are all in one building some have separate cabins i know we got one in our town that's got a separate cabin cottage cottage for those with Alzheimer's or dementia, it looks exactly like the other cottages, but it's just one for uh, Alzheimer's patients or in, in memory care. They're pretty selective about who they accept in these because for them, they want a good fit. I mean, these cottages, like in this situation, it's just like 15 people or so, and they want to get someone that you know, doesn't disrupt the community and for that little bitty community in their facility. So that fits into their culture. Yeah, fits into their culture. So again, check around. I hope this information helps. If you are watching this on YouTube and you haven't subscribed, please do so. Click the subscribe button and click the notification bell at the top to be notified about future videos that we do. And thanks for watching. And I know this can be a difficult decision because you you have may never have considered doing this before. So if you have questions, um, type them in the comment box yes. and we will answer your questions. And thank you for being a caregiver for your loved one. You're making a huge difference in their life.